I woke up to the news today that Gonzalo Lira is safe. April 22nd, uh, 2022, uh, I'm uh, in Kharkov. Um, I'm okay. He was picked up by the SBU and quite shaken up and he can talk about his experiences and I'm sure he will. He has been exposing a lot of the horrendous monstrosities that are being carried out by the Azov Battalion, which is a neo-Nazi battalion. I'm okay. Uh, physically, I'm okay. Um, I... I don't have anything that I can say publicly other than I'm okay. And this leads me to a question. Number one, why wasn't the disappearance of Gonzalo Lira on Western media? Why weren't they asking where this American journalist was? And the second question is, why is the American government and Western governments so inclined to support neo-Nazis? And by that, I mean, we're giving millions, and I mean all billions, actually, of dollars to the Ukrainian government to fight for what they call democracy. But actually, Ukraine has not been a democracy, and it never was. And now, with that pretty fiction wrapped up with all the propaganda that Zelensky gives on a daily basis to his multimedia appearances, he even defends who he calls nationalists, and they're not nationalists, they're neo-Nazis that follow Stephen Bandero. And, and that person is a Nazi collaborator that did a massacre. And any kind of search cannot whitewash the brutality of who he was and what his role was during World War II. Why is America, why are Western com countries funding neo-Nazis? And not just funding them, but enabling them to empower and spread their hateful rhetoric all over the world.